Donations to food banks usually go down in summer and there are no school lunch programs, which is why Mary Maid started a peanut butter drive a few years ago to help fill the gap. But this year, after a break due to the pandemic, the annual fundraiser is even more meaningful. Tess Van Stratton explains in this week's Vital People. Scott and Dylan Tanner are helping to stock the shelves at the mustard seed. Everyone's looking to, to change the world or make a difference, but we, we can start uh, with ourselves and with our community. After a three-year break due to the COVID pandemic, Mary Maid's Project Peanut Butter is back, and it's more important than ever. My son Matt passed away last year in March and this is just a way for us to um, keep Matt's legacy alive. Matt Tanner started the annual peanut butter drive in 2014 and it quickly grew. It takes many people to make this happen and it's just amazing that we raised 2,000 jars. And they hit 2,700 jars last time, filling an important gap for families in need. The school lunch programs end uh, when school ends. And in the summer, a lot of low income and now mid income families don't have access to protein. And I think that's really important uh, for, the, for the community. With rising food, gas and housing costs, demand at the mustard seed and the 60 organizations it serves from its Viewfield Food Warehouse is higher than ever. We're seeing a lot more demand from middle income people. They're able to pay their rent and they're able to pay their hydro. But in terms of providing food for their family, they're just not quite meeting the match. Mary Maids and Island Nut Roastery are both matching donations, which can be dropped off at Country Grocer, Urban Grocer, Fairway Market, Quality Foods, Red Barn Market, Mary Maids, or the Uplands Golf Course. Well, I believe that we, we that are fortunate have the ability to give back give back and Matt um, was doing that at a very young age. Matt was just 36 when he tragically died from complications after a stroke, leaving behind his pregnant wife and infant son. Scott and Dylan will be delivering all the donations July 21st, Matt's birthday. This is just part of Matt's legacy. This is this is the ability to get the community together and give for a good cause. Uh, I'm super proud of myself, really proud of my dad, proud of my brother, proud of our staff, proud of the community, proud of our customers, proud of our partners, proud of the mustard seed. And my gratitude list just uh, goes on and on. And they're hoping that every year this fundraiser will continue to grow in Matt's memory. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.